Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the Zaw of the Playbook, bring you an NFL matchup between the New England Patriots and the Cleveland Browns. Now, offensively, the Patriots come into this game after looking impressive against the Vikings. Now, what you have to do, Bill Wall said it best, you want to beat the Browns to the trick play. If you beat your opponent to the trick play, therefore, they can't run theirs. And you know the Browns are going to come up with some gadget plays just for this game in particular because of the matchup between Belichick and Mangini. So beat these guys to the punch, run your trick play first before Cleveland gets theirs out of their bag. Also, offensively, you look at what you do in the passing game. You want to avoid the middle of the the Browns defense. They have a talented rookie who I think should win defensive rookie of the year and TJ Ward back there that's a uh, eliminator in the in coverage. He can make interceptions. He can also knock the stuffing out of the wide receivers. So I want you to avoid the middle of the defense of the Browns. Try to attack the flanks. Eric Wright always has his eyes in the backfield so you may have some opportunities there as well. And you also look at the fact that you want to utilize different formations. When you play a team like the Browns in a 3-4 defense that's aggressive, different formations are going to confuse these guys, are going to mix up coverage, and therefore you get the best available matchup that you want for your offense. So get different formations in. You guys do a great job of that, moving these guys around, these tight ends around, wide receivers, running backs, getting everybody in different spots on the field that helps you out. Defensively, you can't have any mental lapses in special teams. When you're playing the Browns, you're playing against Joshua Cribs, the most dangerous returner in the game. No mental lapses this week in the special teams department. And you have to make it tough for the rookie McCoy. Get after him, frustrate him, keep him on the move, and therefore you have some success. And 11 men to the football, because when you're tackling Peyton Hillis, you need that whole team of yours to bring him down, and that way you win on first down defensively. Now for Cleveland, you coming in offensively, you're looking at the matchup between your talented center, Alex Mack, versus Vince Wilfolk. He has to win that battle, because if the 3-4 defense is effective, that nose guard, that nose tackle is getting pushed up the middle. So it's up to Mack, a talented player in his own right, to hold Wilfolk at the line of scrimmage. Therefore, the blocking protection will, will be, uh, be okay. And the O-line has to win at the point of attack. Because if you're able to fire out the football against that front of the Patriots, you can run the football all day against these guys. So it's up to you guys at, on the offensive line to win at the point of attack. And you have to keep them honest with the pass. You may not have the wowing passing attack that most teams have, but you have some playmakers in Stuckey. You also have Robisky. You also have Ben Watson, who would love to get some skins against his own team, his old team. So you want to keep these guys honest in the passing game. That way they won't front load the run of you guys and effectively stop the run like that. You have to convert your third downs. That's key. Defensively, I look at Scott Fajita's underneath coverage. If he's able to take away the underneath routes of the Patriots, that's going to frustrate that timing for Tom Brady, and it's going to give you that half a second to get to the quarterback. And gap control versus the run. Danny Woodhead is a guy that can jitterbug his way through a hole. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis is another guy that can jitterbug his way through a hole and run with some power. So you want to make sure you maintain your gap control and don't give up the cutback this week. That is huge. And Wright can't get caught looking in the backfield. He always wants to see what's going on. If he gets caught looking in the backfield against a guy like Ben Tate, not Ben Tate, I'm sorry, Brandon Tate, it's a touchdown waiting to happen. Keep your eyes on your luggage. Focus on what you're there for, and that's to cover the wide receiver, and that way you don't get caught looking. So that way you don't give up the big play in the secondary, which will plagues you guys this year. You give up that one big play, and that proves to be detrimental. I'm going with Cleveland in an upset. Cleveland playing at home. Again, this is Mangini versus Belichick. He would love to, nothing more than to beat his old boss, especially when he has an aggressive defense that's playing, that's flying around, outstanding rookies in the secondary. The Patriots love the pass, and they're going to play the run on the, way to, on the way to the quarterback this week, and they have the offensive firepower as far as the running game to neutralize this Patriots uh, defense and keep these guys on the field and work the clock and make it a, a close game in which I think the Browns win at home. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan.